What's up YouTube? It's been a little bit of time since I made a video. Been busy trying to finish up with work, but that's finally done with. And I got a couple months, two and a half months or so off, so I'm gonna be working on some projects. Well, I was working on that wind turbine that I got for, uh, that I won in a contest from Missouri Wind and Solar. And I'll show you where I'm going to be putting it. Let me flip this thing around and uh, take a look at it. So, I'm going to be putting it over here. I got these two uh, landscape ties. I mean, I'm trying to use stuff that I got laying around. I don't want to dump no money into this. You know, so this is what I did. I got two uh, railroad ties off. Landscape ties, they call them. Put two of them together and hammered a bunch of nails in. Dug down about three feet, filled in with concrete, so this thing is pretty solid. And what I'm going to be doing is, oh, well, if you can see here, I got a one inch conduit, electrical conduit going from here, under the ground, into the garage, coming up inside the garage. And that's where I'm going to be running my wire. So I had this, uh, this old hammock that I found in the garbage, the frame. I'm going to be putting, I'm going to be using the pipe, because it's actually pretty thick, this pipe on this hammock frame. And this is going to be one piece of the pipe, and I will show you over here where I'll be sliding or sleeving another pipe inside that. Let's just come over here so I can explain it a little bit better. I think those sections are like six or seven feet. It's going to be up about 20 something feet. I know they say, yeah, put it up as high as you can, get the better wind, but I'm not going to put a pole up uh, 30, 40 feet up in the air. So this is what I'm going to do. This is the end where turbine's going to be going on. And this is a water pipe. I think it's an inch and a quarter. What I'll be sleeving, you see the green one, that's a piece of that hammock pipe. What I'm doing is doubling it up. I'm sleeving an inch and a quarter inside that and putting some bolts and making it pretty strong. Also got to sleeve a piece on here. So I'll be up probably like 20 feet. Well, that's my pole. I'm going to put some guide wires on that too when I get it up there. And I want to tell you the luck I lucked out big time. I need some wire, at least 12. I was going to use an extension cord because this uh, wind turbine is three phase coming in, then it changes over on a rectifier. So I needed a 12 3 or a 12 2 with a ground extension cord. I was going to go buy one at about $75. I seen them in Harbor Freight for like around seventy dollars seventy five dollars so I happened to come across <laughs> I was doing a job and I noticed these guys put up were putting Christmas lights up on this house that I was working on and there was a dumpster sitting there so I me mean, I'm always looking in the dumpster and lo and behold inside the dumpster was this a 12 2 with a ground <laughs> the the uh, the end was burnt up on it the uh, the uh, man, uh, female part was burnt up, so they just threw the whole thing in the garbage. Could you believe it? All they had to do is go buy another uh, plug and splice it on there, and you got an extension cord. I said, I couldn't believe the luck. Well, anyway, this is the wire I'm going to be using to bring it from the pole into the garage and change it over with the rectifier and all that. But I'll be going along as I go along. I'll show you some videos on that. So I just wanted to show you a little look at so far what I'm getting when we'll see maybe by the end of the week or after the holidays I'm going to have the pole up and all that so we'll give you another peek at it and see how it goes. Alright YouTube, I'll take it easy, I'll see you.